In this video, we will know about the arrangement of bricks in header bond and stretcher bond. Let's start with a header bond. It is mainly used for the construction of one brick thickness. In this type of bond, all bricks are placed as header on the face of the wall. This type of bond is also suitable for the construction of curved walls and foundation for better load distributions. So let's see how to make a L junction in a wall made in header bond. After laying the mortar base for the course 1, we start with placing two 3x4 bat in a way so that the longer length comes in front. And after that, we start placing the headers to the desired length of the wall. By using the 3x4 bat at the joint, creates an overlap of 1 by 4 of the brick length, which further helps in preventing the vertical joints between two continuous courses of a wall. And on the other side of the wall in course 1, we also place the header bricks. Now we will start course 2. After laying the mortar base of 10 mm above course 1, we start with the same 3 by 4 bat. But this time we place them in a way so that the header face comes in the front, which is just opposite of the course 1. And then we can continue the rest of the wall by placing the header facing bricks. And on the other side of the wall in course 2, we follow the same. Our course 1 and course 2 are complete. We can now place all other courses one above another for an example. Let's see the arrangement of 6 courses. We can see in the face appearance of the wall, no vertical joints are coming in the continuous courses. Still, this pond lacks strength in transferring the pressure through the length of the wall, which makes its application limited. This type of bond is not good for load-bearing structures. Now let's get familiar with the stretcher bond. This type of bond is only used for half brick thick walls. It cannot be used for structural purposes. It is mostly used as an outer covering of cavity wall or the outer facing of the steel structure. To close the wall and also breaking the vertical joint at the end of the wall, we provide a half bat at each alternate course starting from course 2. The application of this type of wall is mostly as the sleeper and partition wall, as they have no load bearing capacity. Let's start with course 1. In front of you is the top view of course 1 in stretcher bond showing two walls joining at 90 degrees. You can see all bricks are placed in a way that the stretcher is always facing outside. In course 1 you can see in the front we are starting with the header at the joint and also the header at the joint acts as a stretcher on other side. But when we come to course 2, first brick is the stretcher in the front which acts as a header on the other side. By doing this, a half brick lap is provided between two continuous courses and prevents the face of the wall having the continuous vertical joints. Now we can place these courses one above another to complete our wall of desired dimensions. We also call this bond as running bond. There is very less wastage of bricks and time in this type of bond. I have placed 6 sample courses. Just get a glimpse of the wall section in stretcher bond. Now let's understand about lap distance. For that, let's go to the elevation of the wall. The size of the brick used in this wall is 9 inch by 4.5 inch by 3 inch. So our lap distance will be 4.5 inch, which is the half length of the brick. This is necessary to stop the wall having vertical joint between two continuous courses like course 1 and 2. And due to this lap distance, we also get a toothing at the end of the wall, which helps in bonding the new wall on the next day as we cannot make all walls at same date. Now with the help of animation, let's see the creation of a stretcher bond wall. 
सो गाइज दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट हेडर बॉन्ड एंड स्ट्रेचर बॉन्ड ज्वाइन मी ऑन फेसबुक और अदर सोशल प्लेटफॉर्म्स टू गेट कनेक्टेड एंड टॉक ऑन इट इफ एनी डाउट और क्वेश्चन राइट दम डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज टू योर फ्रेंड्स इन नीड थैंक्स